Hello guys, welcome to my room tour. We're on MTV Crips. I'm kidding, we're not on MTV Crips. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to show you everything that's in my room. I showed all my plants, all the fun things that I enjoy about this room. Um, and if you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. Um, yeah, enjoy the video and don't forget to like it cause it helps. And if you like the channel, subscribe. I put out new content every Monday. So yeah, I will see you guys very shortly. Bye. All right. So this is my room. All right. When you walk in, first things first, there is a cat. Her name is Willow. She runs this bitch. This is also her room. Oh my God. You're so cute. See, hi Willow. This is her dilapidated cat tree, because this is also her room. She's so cute. And this is the overview. This is what y'all don't see. This is my jewelry bench, where I make made jewelry. I haven't made jewelry in a while, but I got all the like bobs and bits and everything known to man to make metal jewelry. But anyway, moving on. Over here, this is the accent wall that you guys all see. I'm a stream. This is my lovely little space heater because it's fucking freezing in this floor. Fun fact, the floor is in here concrete underneath this carpet and it gets very cold because it's under above a garage. So it gets cold in here in the winter time. So that saves me from being freezing cold. Um, so yeah, and then moving over here, this is where you guys see most of everything. My beautiful Taylor guitar that is... Oh my god, it's gonna be almost 10 years old now, I think. My grandparents bought this for me when I was 15, and I'm 30 now, so. Oh my god. No, I was 18. Correction. Still old. It's a 514 CE. They still make it. It sadly has a crack. When I was in college, um, it cracked. It's just the poly that cracked. I had it repaired, so it's fine, but yeah, that's my guitar. Um, and then moving over here, this is my prized possession plant wall um that thing died there's nothing in it it's just beads um leka um yeah so this is my begonia i don't know do you guys want a plant tour we'll do a plant tour um this is the begonia that i've had for i don't know she's getting old she's very leggy she's very tall but she has really pretty leaves um and then this is the new baby that i just bought which is a polka dot begonia I don't know if this is gonna be too much late for her, but we will see how it goes. But she looks real good right here. This um, plant rack is from Amazon. It's pretty rickety, but it looks cute. Um, this is my prized cactus. I don't have a name for her, but she's from Ikea. And she's so fucking cute. And then my Monstera, which is still in its baby infancy, so it doesn't have any fenestration, sadly. Her leaves are healthy but not and they're immature so they don't get the little like swiss cheese leaves until they get a little bit older um this thing down here is just dying i don't know how to save it it needs more humidity in here i have one leaf left my little owl and then this light ooh, this is a lifex light bulb um that i have in a i don't know it's like bamboo um this is from ikea so is the fixture and the the leg hangy thing um yeah so this light changes different colors i can change it to purple all the hues of the rainbow um but i use it as a grow light it comes on every day at seven o'clock um because fun thing i have a whole apple home kit throughout my whole house so that's what this is linked to so moving over here this is kind of a mess um this is my Lovely Alex drawers from Ikea. Um, this is where I store all my makeup. There's a lot of fucking shit. I own a lot of makeup. Um, but yeah, you don't need to see it. It's not organized. It's a mess. And then just bobs and bits. My hair dryer. Brushes. Humidifier for the plants, which I need to get a bigger one. This one's not big enough for this room. Um, and then moving over here to my favorite wall that you guys can ever see because it's not in the stream, sadly. Um, Ryan made me this plant hanger. Um, this plant's got to get moved down a little bit because it needs more sunlight. Same with this one. Um, but it is just a, I think it's like a, I want to say it's a closet rod. I think that's what it is. And then I just got those like little eye hooks and he mounted it to the ceiling. 
so it makes a perfect um, plant hanger. Um, this is a philodendron. I have, or not philodendron, this is pothos. Correction, pothos. Um, I have a lot of pothos. I don't know why, but. And then this is a philodendron. I don't remember the name of the variegation, but it has these cute little arrow shaped leaves. It's super cute. She's new. I love her. Um, I'm going to have to replant her, but for another time. And this is my favorite plant, which is the tattoo that I have on my arm, which is a philodendron Mikens. She is beautiful. She's very long. As you can see, she's kind of spanning all over the room. Um, but I have to keep her up because they are very poisonous to cats. Um, and I don't want my cat to die because I do love her. Um, but you can see... Oh, what the heck is on that leaf? I think it's got paint on it from when Ryan painted the room. Whoopsies. Um, but I love this plant because it has these beautiful, like, fuzzy leaves that are iridescent. But they also have this pretty, like, red sheen to them. You can see this one over here. It's really pretty. Anyway, I could talk about this plant all day. But I do love her. Obviously, I have a tattoo on my body of this plant. So on to the next plant. This is my prized, lovely string of hearts. Um... Like I said, I need to move her down. She's getting a little sparse up top because she needs a little more sunlight. But she's getting pretty long. I need to untangle her. She's kind of a mess. But as you can see, they have these cute little heart-shaped leaves. So pretty. I love this plant. Um, I searched long and hard for this plant, and I finally found her. I've had her for almost a year now. Um, but yeah, and then my massive string of pearls, which is just... I saved this thing from Lowe's. It was very sparse for a long time. I was overwatering her. And now she actually needs some water. You can see she's dry. But uh, she's a happy little girl. Um, yeah. So that's all my hanging plants. And then moving down to here. Um, this is a nerve plant is what they call them. I can't remember the actual scientific name. It is the most temperamental plant. If you do not water it quick enough, it looks like it's dead. Because all the leaves just droop down. So... If you don't want a plant that gives you anxiety, don't buy this plant. But she is pretty cute. She has this beautiful, when she gets enough sunlight, she turns really pink in the veins, which is why it's like a nerve, that's why it's called a nerve plant, because um, it looks like nerves. Yeah, moving on. This is um, a succulent. I don't remember. I'm terrible with succulent names, but it is a pretty succulent. She's thriving. She's happy. Um, and then this is, shit, I don't remember the name of this plant. Oh, it's a rubber tree plant. It's a variegated rubber tree plant. Um, it has the pretty white leaves, which I love. Um, she's super cute. And then this is my newest baby. This is a Calathea. As you can see, she has the most beautiful, vibrant purple leaves on the bottom. Um, so, yeah, she's new. She's pet friendly, obviously, so Willow doesn't kill her because she ate my last one. So, yeah, these are all the plants on this plant stand. This plant stand, I cannot tell you where it's from. My mother gave it to me, and then I painted it this copper color, which obviously I love. That's my step stool, so I can reach my plants because I'm too short. Okay, I'm five foot one, y'all. Yeah, I'm a little baby. Anyway, catch bed. That's one of those cat beds that she never lays in. And then my lava lamp, which I should turn that on, you know? Set the mood. Although, by the time I'm done filming this, it won't be on. Um, and then I have a propagation over here on the windowsill of um, my string of pearls. This is for a patient that... I've been saying I'm going to give her, and I still have yet to give her. Um, this is my amethyst piece that my sister bought me for my birthday a couple years ago. Um, she also bought me this for my birthday a couple years ago. It's also amethyst, which is my birthstone, and also one of my favorite stones, because purple is my favorite color. Um, this is a bundle of eucalyptus and a incense burner. And then I have my little baby cacti. These are from Ikea as well. Um, they just chill here on the windowsill. It's very rainy today. Um, I also love this window. This window just gives me life. Um, moving on, I have some tarot decks. I'm not a very big... Oof, out of focus. I'm not a big tarot deck reader, but I love to collect them because they're beautiful. This is... My dad bought me this when I was a little girl. Um, I've had it forever. It's a little owl because I used to be obsessed with owls. It's got little drawers in it. I just had it, and it's kept with me forever. You know, I have random crystals throughout, some jasper. No, this is D Dalmatian. Something Dalmatian. I don't remember. I'm not a big crystal lover. I think they're pretty, and my sister buys them for me, so I keep them. And they're all over my house. So this is the overview of this portion of my room. Again, y'all don't see this on the stream very often. Oh, this is also 
<clears throat> a painting my sister, well, it's not a painting, but it's a, a digital illustration that my sister bought me for my birthday last year. Um, it is in the theme of Pisces, as you can tell by the water, because I am a Pisces. Um, it's super, I love this. I love this artist. She's so talented. But anyway, moving on. And maybe I'll link the name of that. If somebody's interested, let me know. I'll let you know. I don't remember the name of the artist. I have to ask her. Um, but moving over here, these are my shelves that are made out of reclaimed wood. Brian built me these. Um, I love this little nook of my room. It's so cute. It's just, it's very peaceful in here. This is what I love about this room. Anyway, so moving up here, I have my ZZ plant, which is, as you can tell, taking off. She is thriving up there. She really likes that corner. Um, it started off as such a little baby and uh, I need to repot her eventually, but I, I just haven't got around to doing it. Um, over here, I have all of my, it, I, I, I had collect so many tarot decks because people buy them for me. Here is my UFO plant, which I need to chop off and redo. It needs to be like repotted because it's getting too leggy, but I moved it up here. It used to be on my desk, now it's up here. Um, over here is another pothos. This is getting, this, this plant, I probably have had this plant for the longest out of this room, um, but it's getting real long. As you can see, I love trailing it around the room. And it goes over here, trails down here. You guys can see this in the stream, but yeah, I love her. She's getting pretty big. This is a little light that I got for Christmas this year. Pony Taw, because best Pokemon ever. This has like a little light in it. It's super cute, because all you know, if you know, you know, I'm obsessed with moons. So I have a moon phase tattoo on my arm. Um, this is a little thing my sister bought me. It flips inside out. And it's an angry one, but we're not angry. So we keep it on the smiley face all the time. Moving over here, I have a corgi that someone bought me. I don't remember who. I'm not big into stuffed animals, but they just fit around aesthetically around the room. And then this little Pikachu Ryan gave me is so cute. It just fits in here. It's like he's in a little jungle. Um, and then this is some sort of, I don't know, I could tell you. It's got a tag. It's this plant. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. It also likes... It doesn't, it lets you know when it needs to be watered because it gets real droopy. Um, again, more odds and ends, crystals just scattered everywhere. This one's really pretty. Um, and then some rose quartz. And then moving on. Oh, wait, this is also my newest plant too. This is another um, pothos because I couldn't not buy it. Look at the split leaf. Beautiful. Anyway, these are my little speakers. Behind here, I have a subwoofer. Um, these are just my desktop speakers. Um, down here, this is a candle and then an incense burner. This is what I normally burn my incense in. Um, currently, these are the ones I've been using. The Sea Witch Botanical ones. I just like incense better. Candles, I don't know. I just, these just make the room smell better longer, in my opinion. Anyway, moving on. There's some more crystals. An amethyst my sister again bought me. Um, these are things that I bought. The stone is just so pretty. I bought that for myself. Ooh, this one too. I really like this one as well. It's like, and this is actually natural, which I think is nuts that it's naturally this color. Anyway, y'all are here for gaming content and I'm just showing you everything. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is the view. I don't know if I can get back further. This is what you guys don't see. This is what I see when I stream. Um, this is my desk. Um, nano leaves, very basic, boring nano leaves. Nothing very exciting. I'm so glad that I took them off the wall behind me because I don't know. I'm so over the aesthetic of lights. I like the naturalness of my room now. Obviously, I like greenery. Um, as you can tell, based on the wallpapers on my desktops. <laughs> um, but behind here, I have these pretty posters that I was gonna buy hangers for, but. When I found out that they were $50, I was like, mm, uh, thumbtacks work just fine. I'm not paying $50. So I use this nail leaf basically as a um, ring light kind of. I used to have that ring light here, but I didn't like how harsh the light was. So we rearranged. And then I have my, this camera is, I should turn this off so I'm not getting back feedback. But um, this camera is a Sony A5100. It is the oldest version of this camera. Um, I've had it forever, um, but it's linked into a cam link. That's why my camera quality is so good on stream. I don't have the webcam, but 
you could get by with a webcam. I would just have had this forever, so it works out well. Um, so this is on some iRig mount thing that's mounted to my desk stands. Um, yeah. And then that's my last primary monitor. Um, that's a 240 hertz IPS panel, but it's only 1080. This is my 1440p monitor, 240. And then this one is a 240, but is an TN panel. This was my oldest version of this. They're all Alienware. Obviously, I like Alienware monitors um, because this is my third one, clearly. Um, and then this is some like 60 hertz third monitor. This is where I normally put chat. Chat goes up here. I have my TikTok stream game and then I have Discord over here. So yeah, moving on on the actual desk. This is my Ducky 1-3 or SF3 Mini. I don't remember the name of this, but it's a 65% keyboard because I like having arrow keys for editing. It's a must, okay? It's a must. And then I don't care about these keys, but it's nice to have the arrow keys. Yeah. And then this is getting dirty. I'm sorry because I do my makeup here, which inevitably gets on my goddamn mouse pad. Um, but this is the Aqua Control Plus by X-Ray Pads. This is my second one that I've owned of this. I love this mouse pad. I don't know if I'll ever switch off of it. Um, but underneath we have, because this desk was homemade, I, didn't, I guess I didn't say that. Ryan made me this desk. This is a custom built wood desk. Um, but, but because it's homemade and it has these bridges, we had to find some way to make this flat because every time I would just, game I would hit these ridges and it would be a problem so we have a piece of I think it's like I don't know plywood or something underneath that's cut out to the the size of the mouse mouse pad um so that it is a smooth surface when I game um I have obviously the super light the Jeepo super light and pink because aesthetics and I have glass gates on it yeah and then this is my second uh pc's mouse this is the glorious oh this is the mouse that i used to main i don't like it anymore i always it is wireless but i always keep it plugged in because it always dies so yeah and then over here is my go xlr if you're gonna buy go xlr i'm gonna tell you now don't waste your money on this one because i barely use the interface i should use the voice changer more but i don't um, so kind of annoying that I wasted $500 on this because when you could get the mini, which is 10 times better. And honestly, there's probably other things out there that are just as good as this thing. I was sold on what everybody else had. I thought I had to have. So, but that is my interface that allows me to stream between two PCs. Um, and then I have the Sure. I don't remember the name of this mount or the name of this, um, microphone, but is it's the minier version of the Sure. I couldn't, I was not going to buy the SMB7 because you had to get the cloud lifter and all that stuff. And I was like, ain't no fucking way, man. I'm poor. So this is like a hundred dollar mic. It's meant for podcasting. 10 out of 10 recommend. It sounds really good. Um, and you don't have to have cloud lifter, which essentially is just making the audio much louder. And then over here, my squishy donut. It's a stress ball, but it's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> um, and I have lip gloss. AirPods that I don't ever use, um, and then my lighter, my phone charger, back here is just some messy bits and bobs, water bottle, I have my, this is the Elgato ring light, 10 out of 10 recommend if you're looking for a ring light, because it interfaces into, oh yeah, I have a stream deck over there too, interfaces into the stream deck, but it also interfaces into your PC, so you can turn it on and off, and you can change and adjust the um, light settings too, which is 10 out of 10, fantastic. Um, iPad, hat, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then this is where my second keyboard lives. Ryan built me this like little thing, which I love. Um, so it pulls out um, so that I can type on my other keyboard because I didn't want to. I hate the aesthetic of having both keyboards on the desk. So this works out perfect. And this is the um, Canon Keys Benko, I think is the name of it. I built this. Um, this was my main gaming um, keyboard for a while. It's very heavy. It's nice. It's made of metal, but, um, the keys, the two key kept falling out. And I was just like, this is not meant for gaming. This is a, such a better second keyboard. So we bought that one. And then the, this one's here, um, under here, do not flame my cable management. I tried. There's too many cables. 
y'all will survive, okay? Anyway, moving down here. This is where my PCs live. See, we've tried. We've tried our best. We've tried our best. Um, that is my foot pedal that I use to record clips, change scenes, all that fun stuff. It's made by Elgato. Um, this is my main gaming PC. We're actually going to fix these um, and take this middle part out and move them to the side so I can clean this a little bit better. Um, but Ryan built this thing to keep it suspended up off the floor because it's easier to clean underneath with the cat hair and all that stuff. There's my slippers. Um, but this is my gaming PC. It's an NZXT build, pre-built. Um, it has a 3080 Ti in it. Um, I don't remember any of those specs. It's a beast of a gaming PC. I love it. And then I have my little um, hard drive that I use to go between both PCs because I edit on this PC. And I stream on this one. This is my old PC. This has a 2080 in it. Um, it's pretty old. This was the first PC I built and then I just kept, 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 oh my god, words, kept adding on to it until it got to the specs that I needed it to. So yeah, this is my room, y'all. Now you get to see it. You know, you have any questions, you can always comment below. Um, but yeah, this is what she looks like. This is my humble abode. Oh, that, that, that desk chair, um, that is Secret Lab's ergonomic chair. It's called the Nuru chair. Um, Nulu chair, I think is the name of it. Um, not a cheap chair, but 10 out of 10 recommend. I do not like gaming chairs. They are not comfortable for your back. They're also not good for your back. Coming from a chiropractor. Um, this has really good support. I really like this chair. 10 out of 10 recommend. And it's good for the short friendly girls because I like my feet to touch the ground. I don't like them to be up off the ground. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next uh, video. Enjoy.